Now we are discussing the principle of method of mixture. The principle means it is a rule to find out the common temperature when two or three solutions or materials which are different temperatures are mixed together. So in detail it will be like this. Take a body of mass some m1. Its specific heat capacity is S1 which is at a temperature T1. This body is thermally in contact with another body of mass M2 of specific heat capacity S2 and temperature T2. When these two bodies which are at two different temperatures, two specific heat capacities, two different masses made thermally in contact, there will be a junction temperature between the two objects. The junction temperature is nothing but the common temperature between these two bodies. Let us say the common temperature is T3, nothing but thermal equilibrium temperature or temperature at thermal equilibrium. Whenever the common temperature meased T3, the heat lost by the body T1, the body M1, which is at temperature T1 is T1 minus T3. But the heat gained by the body, which is as mass M2 and temperature T2 is T3 minus T2. Heat lost by the body M1 is equal to T1 minus T3. That's the heat loss or heat gained by the body M2 is equal to T3 minus T2. So we know that the amount of heat energy required to do this work is Ms delta T where it is a temperature difference was occurred. So for here this is the case M1 S1 T1 minus T3, here it is M2 S2 T3 minus T2. So heat loss is equal to heat gain, that is nothing but the equilibrium. So by the rule of equilibrium, loss in heat is equal to gain in heat. So loss of heat by hot body is equal to gain of heat by cool body. So therefore M1 S1 into T1 minus T3 is equal to M2 S2 into T3 minus T2. Now we should find out the junction temperature or temperature of the mixtures or common temperature T3. For that purpose try to expand M1 S1 T1 minus M1 S1 T3 is equal to M2 S2 T3 minus M2 S2 T2. Bring all T3s to one side and on the remaining terms to the another side. So M1 S1 T1 plus M2 S2 T2 is equal to M2 S2 plus M1 S1 of T3 because I am bringing this M1 S1 T3 to the other side, I am bringing this M2 S2 T2 to this side. So if T3 is equal to, therefore T3 is equal to M1 S1 T1 plus M2 S2 T2 by M1 S1 plus M2 S2. This is the common temperature of the bodies which are made thermally in contact. Which are made thermally contact.
there are some special cases in this equation if m1 is equal to m2 then the equation will become s1 t1 by s1, s1 t1 plus s2 t2 by s1 plus s2 by 2 like that so the special cases depends upon the nature of the materials that were used in the experiment so this is the numerical which is based on the concepts of uh, principle of method of mixtures 10 liters of hot water which is at 70 degrees celsius is mixed with an equal volume of cold water at 20 degrees celsius find the resultant temperature of the water where the specific heat of water is 4200 joules per kg per kelvin so we know that t1 is 70 degrees celsius t2 is 20 degrees celsius where m1 and m2 are 10 liters 10 liters means 10 kg because water has density 1 gram per cc so we can write 10 liters is equal to 10 kg where specific heat of water s1 or s2 is equal to 4200 joules per kg per kilo resultant temperature t3 is equal to m1 s1 t1 plus m2 s2 t2 by m1 s1 plus m2 s2 so therefore what is m1 10 what is s1 4200 what is t1 70 degrees this is one block next one m2 10 s2 4200 t2 20 whole divided by m1 s1 10 into 4200 plus m2 s2 10 into 4200 in these two parts we can take 10 into 4200 as common it is 70 plus 20 here also we can say it as 10 into 4200 into 1 plus 1 2 into 2 into 10 into 4200 10 10 get cancelled 4200 and 4200 gets cancelled 70 plus 20 90 90 by 2 nothing but 45 degrees celsius so what we can say in this case is if masses and specific heats are same the temperature is becoming t1 plus t2 by 2 if m1 is equal to m2 and comma s1 is equal to s2 therefore resultant temperature t is equal to t1 plus t2 by 2 this is one of the special case in the principle of method of mixtures so in this lesson we have started with the different uh, temperatures different measurements of the temperature by using the different thermometers and their equivalence at different scales and we have finished the latent heat specific heat for the different materials and we have finished with newton's law of cooling with this numericals so by this point we are concluding this lesson if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus